Welcome back, everybody, to Games Done Hit List. We are raising money for the American Heart Association. I hope you're all having a great time so far. My name is Jiggy, and we have an incredible, incredible big group of runs coming at you here. But before we get into that, I just want to let you all know what you are donating for. What are you donating towards? We are raising money for the American Heart Association. Every 40 seconds, someone has a heart attack or a stroke. One in 100 babies or 44,000 babies each year are born with a, a conjugal heart defect and 22,000 require open heart surgery. The American Heart Association uh, has funded over $5 billion worth of research, creating new treatments like the artificial heart valve and CPR standards uh, and and the, pace, uh, the peacemaker. It's an incredible organization and we appreciate all of your donations. All right, let's get back into this. Faladrina, what are we about to see? Yeah, hello, everybody. Thank you, Jiggy, so much. Uh, I am Faladrin. I'm your co-host for today. And we are going to see a Cuphead run today. So this is a very special Cuphead run because it's a cooperative run in Cuphead. This means that two players will be playing together and they both have to go through the game without getting hit. How cool is that, Chad? I always love co-op runs personally, and and I think they are really hard to achieve because you need a lot of coordination, good communication. There is to be good synergy between the two players, and they are usually much harder to achieve than just doing the run by yourself, which is already really hard, by the way. <laughs> and the runners that we have today are Mikan and Teine, and they actually started playing together during a co-op cuphead tournament that was organized by this Hispanic community. <laughs> And since they had good communication and feeling, they decided to go for the co-op any percent running Cuphead, which they got in 2022 after three months of attending them. Uh, which I find really cool is that since then they got 14 Cuphead runs and they even have some co-op runs in some of the other games. Um, so Mika and Antene are, are with us here, but they will focus on the gameplay first and then they will talk about, uh, about themselves and then whatever they want to say after the run. Um, we also have commentators, so we have uh, on one hand uh, Tarconix, who is an expert in Cuphead, has runs in 12 out of the 13 categories of the game. So thank you for joining us, Tark. How are you doing today? Amazing. Um, despite the pain that is Cuphead, we will persevere and enjoy this. It'll be great. So thank you again. It will be painful maybe for the runners, <laughs> but we will enjoy it for sure. <laughs> And we also have Magborn joining us as a commentator who has been around since the very beginning of the Cuphead No Hit scene and has more than 20 runs in this game. So thank you so much for joining us, Mac. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. I'm doing amazing. Yeah, I started playing Cuphead uh, since the release date and I'm playing it until this day. I think I have a problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, I just want to remind everybody that we have an incentive up. So the incentive number one is Cuphead All Secret Faces at $2,250. And that means that if we reach that before more or less 15 minutes <laughs> from the start of the run, uh, then uh, the runners will need to fight the secret face of Rootpack, Jimmy the Great and Sally Stageplay. Yeah. Yeah, the the internet is not working for me. Now. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. Okay, so we lost one of the runners. Um so we are waiting for her to come back. And in the meanwhile, I want to thank everybody for all the amazing work that we've done so far. Uh we have a lot of uh, donations coming and actually the game stand hitless is not only running today but also tomorrow so stay tuned in for tomorrow as well today we had the beginning of the relay race with dark souls 1 and dark souls 2 and that will continue tomorrow with dark souls 3 elden ring and bloodborne i'm actually really excited about tonight's uh elden ring run that we have to we have to unlock
All right. While we're waiting for our next uh, for the runner to get back here, I'm just going to let you all know a little more about the American Heart Association. And we also have a, just a few donations. We have two $10 donations coming in from Just Peachy Keen as well. So thank you very much for those donations to the American Heart Association. Welcome back, Mikan. How you doing? <laughs> no, no, that's not a problem. We thought Hello, just, welcome back. We thought it just what happens uh, when you play cop. Yeah. <laughs> so small internet problem. There is no no event that can go without any any internet problem. Smooth, but right. uh, is everything good right now? Right now, it's 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 working. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh uh, yeah. It's up? Okay, good. Just bear with us for a second, Chad. We are almost there. <laughs> okay, then if every is everybody ready? Oh yeah. Están listos? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I will do I will do the countdown in Spanish because Mika and Tainet they are a Spanish speaker like me. So listos tres, dos, uno, va. Very nice. Okay. All right, so I don't have a ton of co-op experience in this game. As I I would say Mucky probably agrees solo is as hard as this game is. I would say it's way easier to do it. Like, if it's your first playthrough of Cuphead, co-op is a nightmare. I mean, yeah, getting through the game hitless is already a big challenge, and doing it on co-op is kind of a nightmare. I have experience of doing co-op runs, and uh, my best was five hits, and it's really, really hard. For first, uh, it's really hard to track what's happening on the screen because of the projectiles, like uh, uh, special effects, like animations and stuff. Also, you can forget who you are, Cuphead or Magman. That's a very common situation. You actually just forgetting who you are. And the third one, uh, which is probably the major problem, is uh, the projectiles in bullet hell sections uh, alternate between two different players, and you actually have to count which one is that. And it makes it so much harder, because in single player, you obviously just, it's all pointed at you, all the projectiles targeting you. And here, you actually need to do some math. Yeah, now Taney is going to be Cuphead, the red character for the non-Cuphead homies. And then McCann will be Mugman, the less cool character, in my opinion. Not oh, yeah. nearly as cool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good that you put the little icon uh, next to every each player so we can just remember who is who. Yeah, our first boss here is Root Pack. I, I was wondering what they would start with, but this is a nice warm-up. Root Pack is often notoriously the easiest boss in the game, um, which really doesn't mean anything in Cuphead, which means it's just less brutal. I kind of understand why they went for the Root Pack. They're probably not going to do any run-and-gun levels. And uh, in order to reach the five free points in the DLC Isle, uh, they will need to fight two bosses at least. It's going to be Root Pack and the Frogs. But yeah, I think uh, I got their idea <laughs> what they want to do. Yeah, I think they mentioned uh, they didn't want to prolong the run with the running guns. Plus, getting I would also not want to do Forest Follies. I remember running Cuphead yeah, that's on one of these events. Especially, especially in co-op, yeah. And beautiful, beautifully done the first boss. I mean, easiest boss in the game, but still, good job. Now, for the incentives, if I got this right, so incentive one, um, I guess well, there's the secret phase for Root Pack. There's also the secret phase in Jimmy the Great in Isle 2, and there's uh, Sally stage play. Um, now, they have to get this within the first five to seven minutes. Is that the, the notes I have here? Around around 15 minutes, I think, they go to fight Jimmy the Great. So we have a little bit of time to reach that incentive. We are at 8,051 uh, mark for the donation, and we need a little less than 200 to reach that goal. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the secret phases are fun. They're a, uh, a nice little a wrench in your usual experience with these bosses. And in my experience, often more difficult. 
I would say it adds a little bit of spice to the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and if you've ever streamed Cuphead, you will get first-time chatters flooding you with do the secret phase. It, it will almost always happen. And you can see they like have the even even the jumps are synced up, which is really important because like you mentioned earlier that one of the worst parts about doing this co-op is the inability to kind of track your own character. So to the best of their uh, abilities, they're kind of trying to sync up those jumps. That way it's just kind of like you don't have that issue with, you know, conflating which character you are. And I'm sure at the same time they've done this so much. I'm sure Kane is always Cuphead and McCann is always Mugman. I imagine they're not switching that up ever. There you go. And uh, the frogs are done. It, it, as you could see, they were staying away from each other. Uh, because it's really hard to see who is who, so yeah, basically beautifully done. And uh, now, if we have time for the donations, you can speak up. Yeah, Jiggy, you can go ahead. Yes. Uh, okay. So we got a five dollar donation from Me Made Fox, a one dollar donation from Sophie Wolfie, and a five dollar donation from Scary Carrie. We also have a $25 donation from Mindy KB and a $15 donation from Blue Dane WB. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much for paying money. This That's a great cause. American Heart Association is grateful. I'm pretty sure about that. I am trying to donate and watch this run at the same time. This is my challenge run. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. So they're doing the Mausoleum 1 here, pretty non-threat in this run, but its benefit is they will have access to Super Art 1, which is basically a power-up, which does um, a lot of damage for those that don't play Cuphead. Let's go, and uh, Mausoleum done. And Mock, Worm, and I, we've absolutely never failed Mausoleum, right? We've It's never happened. There's no proof of it. Yeah, absolutely. If you see, saw something, it's all AI generated. <laughs> it's all AI generated. We couldn't be bothered with failing Mausoleum 1. I've definitely never done it. So I wonder if the, you think they'll get any of the other... Are they going to go to the DLC just to get coins, I assume? Yeah, I think so. There are five coins uh, you can pick up without fighting anyone in the DLC, which was introduced with the DLC release, which makes the game a little bit easier for the new players. And yeah, they're gonna use every coin uh, they can get to for um, weapons and charms. Come on, fight Glumstone, you cowards! <laughs> Come on. I highly recommend uh, the DLC for those that uh, have played the base game but never got around to the DLC. Super affordable and it's awesome. Yeah, uh, if we, the DLC yeah. is probably one of the best DLCs for any game in uh, the balance of effort and, you know, price. Yeah, I was super happy with it. I remember being like eight US dollars close to my country. I was like, that's extremely fair. But instead of buying that, what you should do is take that money and donate to the American Heart Association so we can put these two through even more struggles and make them do secret faces. <laughs> I would refund Cuphead, but uh, Steam won't let me. So I'm going to have to use bonus money. Yeah, too many hours already. Too many. I keep asking and they're like, Park, please quit asking us. Okay, they're going to the third boss, Goopy, which is not very difficult, but sometimes he can trick you with jumps. But here, I don't think it should be a problem. As you can see, uh, Tane is using Charge, which is basically one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I think he equipped Charge and Converge. Converge is the new weapon from the DLC. Yeah, he, he's using it right now. And uh, Mikan is using uh, Roundabout. Yeah, roundabout's super valuable on Goopy, because usually its detriment is, you know, you can, you'll miss a lot, but because of Goopy's pathing on this level, you almost will hit nearly all your shots with it, even if it's not a direct hit, it'll loop back around and hit him anyway. And also, I would say one of the best weapons in the game. I love roundabout, it's also just extremely fun to use. 
There you go, three out of 19 bosses done. Yeah, and I want to take this quick moment to say that uh, Sai Bushnam donated $50 to the American Heart Association, and now we are less than $100 away from that incentive one. Thank you so much. Let's go. All right, and uh, the players on their way for the first plane level, which I think is the hardest part for a uh, co-op. Uh, Pretty much all of the bosses are hard, but uh, the plane makes it harder because uh, there are too many projectiles, which you actually have to count like every time. And you will, will see it in a moment, how they handle that. Like, they, they stick in together to, to uh, attract the projectiles to them, so they don't get confused uh, who's, who, who is gonna hit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I did not know that it had that uh, alternation like you were describing earlier. That's just a whole nother wrench in the whole thing you got to deal with. You got to now you got to track. Yeah, you who, who was the last to you know take a projectile? Yeah, you have to build up strategies from scratch. Like you have to relearn the full game for co-op. Well, it's not that easy as it looks. There you go. And here we see one player nuking the uh, Sagittarius to avoid uh, him throwing a lot of blue little stars because it's really hard to handle them. And they, 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 they're done with the face. Now logically, as you would imagine, and I'm not sure we mentioned this yet, but in co-op Cuphead, the bosses, uh, they do have, as you would expect, more health. It is not the same health bar with twice the damage. Actually, uh, I want to correct you. They have the same amount of health. Uh, both players. Oh, you do deal, less damage. Yeah, you deal 50% you do of the damage. So if one player dies, you go back to 100% damage. That's how it works. Hopefully, we don't have to see the uh, revive mechanic. That's Hopefully, when I'm yeah. playing. Let's go. Good job, guys. And uh, if you have uh, some donations, you can. Oh, sounds good. We have a $15 donation from Lucy2005 Rules. We have a $25 donation from Lady Antisocial. And we have a $50 donation from, Ri uh, <laughs> from Rise Bochana. Thank you so much for your $50 donation. And then oh, we oh, and while you were talking, there is another donation yes. coming in. We got a $25 donation from Melly on the Air. Melly. Thank, Thank you, you so go, much. Melly. We are so close, guys. We are so close, everybody. Okay. Melly. Oops. Oh, no. That was the first hit by Mikan. That's okay. This is pretty hard, like, uh, phase with the hits. And uh, there you go. Yeah, another thing about this is it's not like the room gets any bigger. This is the same size Cagney Carnation room you deal with on Solo. So now you got the same size room, but you got all this extra stuff going on. It's not like Smash Bros or anything where you have these like, it's a two player map now. No, it's the same uh, cluster of sadness. <laughs> Yeah, Cagney is the hardest boss in the first time, and usually when we do runs, we do Cagney first because a lot of things can happen on this boss, and they're done with Dial 1. There you go. Very nice. It was cool to see them bringing out uh, Miss Chalice for that one, which is a character from the DLC that they made playable. Yeah, the difference, uh, like Mugman and Cuphead are just skins of the same, basically, character. Uh, and uh, there's no difference in uh, gameplay. Uh, but with Miss Chalice, they introduced a double jump, Invincible Dash, and what was the third one? <laughs> Probably that's it, yeah. So different moveset, and you have to actually adapt to the new moveset. And I guess the super arts is the only other thing. Yeah, 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 right. But we yeah, we, 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 we got one hit. That was Mikan on uh, the last boss. This is what, when I was thinking about what bosses I least would want to do co-op, this was one of those thoughts. This just, is nightmare, yeah. Nobody likes Baroness Bond 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 because, yeah, it's really hard to, to do it even, even single player. 
Yeah, there's certain bosses in Cuphead where when you're doing your first playthrough or just playing casually in general, you're like, okay, that wasn't that bad. And then Hitless, it has like a different personality. This is one of those bosses where I was like, oh, I didn't mind it playing it casually. But running it, I was, there's just, you know, obviously Hitless is different than casual. And I hate this boss. I love candy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just want to say something, though. We just hit the incentive one. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, my. Awesome job. Let's go. So they, because they haven't done Jimmy yet, they will now do Jimmy's secret phase, if I'm correct, right? I'm already scared. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And okay, then, cool. then, yeah, then they can also repeat root tag, so. <laughs> now, we will see the three of them. You're an expert on Jimmy's secret phase. <laughs> I wouldn't say so, but yeah, it's really hard to... I lost stream. Yeah, same here. Okay, it's back. I think it's back. There we go. Yeah, that was perfect. I'm actually having the... Uh, G uh, GDQ channel open in my browser, so I didn't know. They're delaying Jimmy. They're scared of the secret phase. No, I uh, honestly, Wally is. I think I, I actually these days I think I would rather face Wally. Like for a thousand dollars, you have to get one boss hit list. Wally or Jimmy? Give me Wally. Yeah, Wally probably is the least of the uh, of the problems. With this Especially on regular. Yeah. They're looking together to make the second phase shorter, smart. Yeah, that's another little thing that you kind of, as you play Cuphead more, there's that phase manipulation um, that they don't really tell you about. It's just one big health bar. Yeah, I'm wondering how they gonna deal with rumor honey bottoms, whether they gonna skip the last phase or not. Probably they will try. But we'll come to that uh, later. Yeah, that's such really yeah, interesting. Um, Go ahead. Do I, do I have a minute? Sure, yeah. I also want to announce that since we met Incentive 1, there is Incentive 2. Beat all King Dice mini bosses. Maybe after this boss fight, you want to explain what that means? Yeah, so King Dice uh, is a boss in Inkwell Hell, which is the final section of not only this run, but um, any Cuphead playthrough, um, excluding the DLC. And there are uh, a myriad of bosses to play through. Now, you only have to, if you can manipulate uh, your pathing through which mini bosses you fight. So you can do, you know, maybe you think two and four and. Uh, seven are the easiest, so you can kind of choose that, but um, if they have to fight all of them, <laughs> that is no longer that is no longer the case. They will just have to fight all nine mini-bosses. Yeah, so for, um, com for comparison, if you just normally go through that boss, it's like three-minute fight. If you do all mini-bosses, it's ten-minute fight, so it's a lot of uh, new things to learn. Right, and I'm pretty sure yeah, they, they, they usually will... choose three, five, and Seven, so it's now just one through nine. Exactly, they will need to add six boss fights, so 8,500, that's the goal. Okay, then making the truth sabers, this is the boss where we can see the first secret phase. So normally, uh, you go, uh, there's one more uh, element added to the game, uh, the fight, the little puppet in the center of the screen on the last phase, which throws uh, projectiles, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. And it makes it so much harder, and you're gonna see it in a moment. Ooh, Ooh. spicy, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was a really hard pattern, it was really hard to avoid. Yeah, Another this, one. Yes, Cuphead is a when it rains it pours game, and... <laughs> Okay, so now they're shrinking together to trigger that phase. So Genie appears and scans them, and this is how the secret phase is triggered. Uh, 
I think you're gonna kill the puppet. You actually can kill it and uh, get rid of it, so that's probably will be their strategy. There you go. Okay, now they can play it as normal. Oh! <laughs> that was spicy. Yes, that was very close. My heart sunk. Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty. Come on, come on, guys, do it. <laughs> I, I think watching is so much worse than running, if you ask me. I, <laughs> this is brutal. They're close okay, to they made it. Let's go. Okay. Now, if in a scenario where Mikan did take another hit, there is a revive function in Cuphead Co op that we hopefully don't see at all. Um, but you can bring back a homie. Yeah, you can. Parry. You can, if there are any donations, feel free to announce. Yeah, and I just wanted to say, again, we're, we're pushing for this $8,500 uh, uh, incentive, but we also, all of that will, will get us closer and closer to the $10,000 goal of the extra saxophone Elden Ring run, so I'm, I'm definitely excited about that. But let's get into this. We have $5 donation, $5 donation from Ben Pigeon. Thank you very much. We have a $25 donation from Hellfire. Thank you very much. We have a... $5 donation from Good Witch MK. Thank you. $25 from Polly Morph. $50 from Brink of Dawn. And then $33.33 from All Kisef. Thank you for your donations to the American Heart Association. Let's keep them coming. Awesome job, guys. Less than $150 away from that second incentive. Again, that's all King Dice mini bosses. We are a little bit away from uh, that section of the game, so we got time. But good work, everybody. Oh, I hate this guy. Pepe the Clown stinks. Yeah, these flying dogs are actually tracking like uh, both of the players alternating between them. So probably their strat will be just get rid of them at all times. One Oops, advantage they have hit. is Pepe the Clown doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this section right here. Oh, nice. That smoke bomb was awesome. Smoke bomb is essentially Cuphead's iframes. You you maintain your dash, but you essentially disappear for a moment in time. And then you reappear um, with your model. Also, you can see that sometimes uh, Payne using Miss Chalice and sometimes using Cuphead, depending on the fight, because some fights are easier with Miss Chalice. Yeah, I'm curious to see where they break out in this chalice. That's one thing I, I did not notice um, in watching the previous co-op runs. They're getting rid of penguins because penguins can can be a problem in the last phase. And beautifully done again. And there are two more bosses, or one. I think we just have Grim, right? Yeah, I think we have just Grim. Nice. Yeah. Grim Matchstick, uh, the bane of a lot of casual players. It, it was certainly one of my hardest bosses on my first playthrough. Um, as for co-op, what do you think about uh, Grim on co-op? Oof, uh, that's going to be rough. Yeah, the first phase, basically, uh, the fireballs on the first phase are always the same, but the rings, uh, that's that can be the problem. And I want to see how uh, players going to position themselves to not endanger the other player with uh, the pattern. Yeah, the final phase. Uh, and the nice thing here is these aren't like your typical video game clouds where they, they'll expire if you stand on them too long or... Um, two players are on the same cloud. That that's not an issue here. Um, but I definitely had that thought. <laughs> I was like, better get off this cloud soon, or it's gonna disappear. I'm like, oh wait, this isn't. That's one of Cuphead's few gifts. And the first phase done. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, in, the, in the second uh, phase, there will be little uh, jumpy flames in the bottom, and they will be jumping after. Uh, both players. So yeah, you have to be really, really uh, careful here. There you go. And uh, since they over damaged uh, Dream in the first phase, the second phase w was pretty short for them. 
this is the phase that Mock was talking about earlier. Um, hitting these little dragon balls uh, will cause them to split into a crosshair. <laughs> so yeah, you you're, to, you're trusting your teammate to not oh you know, split them open. Oh my, yeah, that was risky. They've done a pretty good job of it so far. This is where a benefit to Miss Chalice's double jump is. There nice. you go. I'll two done. Nice done. And you can read the nations. Great, great. We have a one dollar donation from Googly uh, Googly Moose. Sorry. And then we have a one hundred dollar donation from Is Carl Pust. Thank you very much. Woohoo! Thank Yo, you so much. Huge donation. We are really, really close to meeting that incentive. I think the, our think players are not happy anymore <laughs> with this incentive. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if we get to $8,500, they will need to fight six extra bosses. <laughs> so keep on coming, everybody. All right, we are now three, and they started with the B, which is maybe one of the most annoying bosses. Basically, all platform bosses, which introduce platforms in the stage, are uh, highly dependent on the RNG of this platform. Sometimes you can get really, really bad RNG, and uh, you have to work around that and uh, plan your strategy around the platforms. For example, you see, in, in the start of the fight, there were platforms everywhere, and now uh, they're like randomized, and you have to take this into account. Okay, so that first projectile, the triangle, so you, you were describing this earlier. The yep. first one went to Mugman, the second to Chalice. Nice, okay, so they got through that. Now these platforms are... Another mechanic of them is how it affects your jump and crouch. So you hit X, or whatever your jump button is, and you will and you'll jump up as you would expect but if you're crouching you will you will drop down so it's one more thing to think about if you're crouching and you hit jump you know you can and i've lost runs to this too i'm sure muck has been there sure. but you know you you can end your own run but wow that was awesome there you go they they skipped the last phase basically because they over damaged the uh, honey bottom in the previous phase Well done. That's, uh, I think, Rumor is one of the worst bosses yeah, for Hitler. Yeah, it's painful. Period. It's painful. Okay, I think their next boss will be Dr. Carl. Yeah, they're going after Dr. Carl. Dr. Carl is also one of the hardest bosses for casual uh, gameplay. But uh, in terms of Hitler, it just has high skill ceiling, but there's like rarely can happen something unexpected. So. But it's really hard to, to learn it was, uh, this boss, and it takes like hundreds of hours to make it consistent. Yeah, this was my hardest boss when I first started playing Cuphead. It's, if you're good at that bullet hell style of gameplay, it can be more intuitive, but a lot of people struggle with Dr. Cal. I think they're gonna build up all five cards to have the nuke to skip the second phase because yeah, second phase is kind of hard to make. Yeah, they they save in the cards. Yeah, they both have their nukes ready. So when there will be a transition to the next, oh, Mikon gets hit. Unfortunate. They're continuing. They're gonna nuke and it should entirely skip the second phase. Just a there reminder. Just a reminder. We are forty dollars away from the incentive to beat all the King Dice mini-bosses. Forty dollars! <laughs> you, can, you can do this, guys. You can do this. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, a lot of those bosses, I don't know, I assume they're pretty familiar with them, uh, if they knew about the incentives beforehand, but I know if I was in that position, I, I haven't played some of those mini-bosses ever. Because again, like, when we're running, you, you get to choose which ones you want, you know, assuming you uh, do it correctly. But, um, yeah, like the, what number's the horse? I, I wouldn't even, I don't even know it's what to do. It's six numbers, six, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Very nice. They made it. Just the one hit. Okay, and the next boss is gonna be Sally stage play, which is not a big of an issue if you have smoke bomb or invincible dash from Miss Chalice, uh, but mostly it's hard because of the second phase where the babies throw the 
bottles of milk from the window and it can basically appear from any window and you actually have to be uh, keeping track of them. Yeah, phase two will be interesting. Now there is a secret phase in this one. Oh right, they have to trigger yeah. the secret phase, right? They will have to, I, I assume they know about that. Okay, so this, to trigger the secret phase, they have to uh, bring down both angels on the sides. And you could see how uh, Teine just brought down the second angel and that triggers the second phase. That was a clutch smoke bomb from Nick in there. That was, I mean, you had the fan coming down and then Sally next to you. But the hard thing about smoke bomb is like, you can't sometimes see, I mean, they, they played enough to know by now, but you don't know where you're going to end up with smoke bombs sometimes, but that was well done. Yeah, we don't see babies because the fiance was killed during the uh, marriage ceremony and now we are at nunnery. Okay, what's the, what's next? Oh yeah, we see both of them together as the the god and goddess. <laughs> and uh, I, th I think here we can see babies. Yeah, the baby angels are there. So they haven't babies on, uh, at heavens. That's nice. That is so nice. Unfortunately, that curtain's made of asbestos. Get your babies out of there. <laughs> okay, cool. They have only the last phase left, which is uh, which doesn't have any difference with the normal uh, uh, phase. So yeah, and they should be done in no time. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it's cool to see them uh, synergize. Like one's doing smash damage with charge, just like obliterating, and then I noticed, and some of them they're. They both run charge sometimes, and obviously with the introduction of uh, Converge, they started. The, that seems to be like one of their main um, synergies. Really popular items. I know I love charge. And now we move on to Vena Vermin. Uh, guys, you have to uh, hurry up because uh, King Dai's boss will be in three bosses. So yeah, please right. donate, donate 40 bucks, just 40 bucks. Let's Get see, we got your water. donations in. If everybody in chat has three dollars, we might, we just might hit the goal. Just maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I'm not good at math. I'm barely good at cuphead, but that sounds good. I think three dollars might be it. I, I think. I don't know. Anybody in chat have three dollars? Do you accept cash? <laughs> so it's... here's the thing there's a little trick you can do in the second phase here you can just hide on the right side which I didn't know when I was running the game and it was discovered afterwards but I still do it as, a, as an old habit here they just dash through the bottle caps that's one of the uh, part of the strategy and they're coming to the last phase which should be actually probably they're gonna kill the ghosts yeah, probably this. Yeah, with the super art. Nicely done. I love the bottle cap strat. I think that is that was such a cool. I don't know. I never think of that stuff, but I definitely started doing that. <laughs> it is such a because that's the worst part in my opinion was phase two of Warner. I was so bad at that. But it's such a cool strategy to mitigate that. You know. Yo, did we get some donations? We do, in fact, have some donations. We have uh, $10 from Lord um, Bran. Thank you very much. We have $5 from Pine underscore Cone. And then we have $5 from Fall Dream. Thank you very much for those donations. We're only $20 away from the second incentives. And that's amazing. I'm excited. I think I'm about to... There you go. Here. Oh, oh my glory. we just hit the incentive. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, bad news for the runners, I guess. <laughs> yeah, bad news for the runners and good news for Chad because there are more incentives coming. We will announce them shortly. So, this briny beard can be <clears throat> special pain because it's really hard to manage uh, what's happening on the screen, even for one player. And here they're doing an incredible job of, of uh, actually just trying to handle all this stuff on the screen. And here, in the second phase, you will see the cannonball adds up, and it makes it even harder. You think they'll parry the laser? 
They might. Actually, no, because um, the thing is, for for co-op, if uh, uh, one person tarries, it just uh, pauses the gameplay for a second and it cancels the input for the second player. So it's extremely dangerous to do anything like this. I don't think they will, but we'll see. Maybe one person will be parrying and the second one will be ducking under the laser. We'll see in a second. Mockworm said he will donate a thousand dollars if they parry the laser. <laughs> that's not true. I, I, that's what I heard. That's what I have this. Wait. wait there I you go. That. They didn't. <laughs> He's like, wait, now I said it. <laughs> oh my god, we got so much money. You can go ahead and read the donations. Yeah, we have so many donations coming in. Thank you so much for your support for the American Heart Association. Uh, we have $5 from Beushu Ki uh, Kira. We have $40 from Lesful. Thank you very much. We have $50 from Tar Cox. Thank you very much. We have $3 hey, from the Do uh, TH Donnie. Thank you very much for the $3. $50 or from Never Walker Alone. And then $50 from Sath Anna's. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And uh, do I have a second to say sure, something yeah. else? It was, it was actually Tar Yeah, Tarconic. I just want to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to announce that we have a third incentive, uh, beat the devil in expert mode using only pea shooter. And that's for 8,750. So we're actually already really close because there were so many donations. <laughs> but we got to reach that goal. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I was a bit worried that you will not have uh, time to announce the incentive because we will reach it. <laughs> So yeah, we still have some time for the third incentive and they're going through Calamaria, also very hard boss. Basically all the bosses are uh, harder on aisle 3 and uh, the plane bosses are crazy hard. And this one they have to manage it uh, uh, even even harder than the previous ones. And they're this going to the last cool phase. Strat. Yeah, this is cool strat where you can stand close to the Calamaria's head and the only thing you have to keep track of is the spikes behind her head and basically nothing else can hit you. This is one of those strats where people watch you while streaming this and they're like, wait, what? You can do this? There you you go. don't have to sit all the way back? What have I been doing with my life? And I never have an answer for him. Oh my god. Go ahead, fella. Yeah, Jiggy, you have something to tell us. I, I do, I do. Uh, <laughs> if we make it to eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars uh they the runners will beat the devil in expert mode only using the pea shooter all right which we already did <laughs> only we, using the pea uh, shooter that's amazing and to kick us off getting so closer badly. there we actually have 100 dollars from never walkered alone so thank you very much thank you thank you so much we're actually two dollars away from that I, goal i think we <laughs> I think we got it. Eight seven seven three, yeah. right? Yeah, we're, we're there. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I cannot geez. math. I'm sorry. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, we are That's we already Thank you so much. Wow. Well. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's one a.m. I'm sorry. Chat speed run. Uh, speed ran the the incentive. We already hit it. <laughs> Imagine Love and Cup had that much. That's what, yeah, Cuphead is, that's what, what this game does. People are like, I want to see you hurt. <laughs> this game is brutal. Yeah, exactly. Expert is, I think it's a pretty fair uptick in uh, difficulty. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ex Devil and Expert is one of the hardest things you can do in the game. Well, besides the Salt Baker, which is part of the deals. <laughs> yeah, so good going, everybody. <laughs> That'll be cool to see. That's awesome. One and of my favorite bosses, Phantom Express. Really cool design. Yeah. This is the last boss of Isle 3, and after this one, we're gonna approach the King Dice, uh, the second last boss. And they're almost there. They just need to beat the heart. Yeah, Converge Charge seems to be the meta for them. That seems to be what they're Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Really good combo. Not as many super arts as I thought they might look out. Oh, look, they made me there you look, go. sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for nothing. And I'm going to donate more done. money and make you do it all over again on expert. Hey, hola. 
puedo molestarlos un segundo, awesome. llegamos a los dos Absolutely incentives. So Así que tienen que hacer All King Dice mini bosses y además the next ex boss is gonna take us 10 minutes this time because they have to go through all nine mini bosses and Echo then the todo. King Dice Así que nada, uh, muchísimas gracias. So it means they will have to roll one on the die uh, every time. They're changing the setup and they will not be able to change it uh, during the whole uh, section. Yeah, I can't stress enough how impressive five hits into co-op Cuphead That's is crazy. going into Inkwell Hell. It's <laughs> so good. And doing it live under pressure. And you said five was your PB doing co-op, Mark? Yeah, yeah. That was the best I could get. Yeah. Yeah, like this is a mini boss. I don't know the last time I fought this boss. <laughs> That's one of the cool things about watching Cuphead Runners. It's, it's one of those, just like in any hitless game, some people have different routings, different you know strategies. Uh, what bosses, mini bosses, uh, Cuphead Runners will choose to fight is another one of those cool things. Um, they do not have the privilege of doing that. They they get to choose all of them. Okay, they're approaching the second boss, which is Poker Chips. Pretty simple boss, because the only thing you need is to not get hit by the Poker Chips when they're rolling from the other side uh, of the screen, and you can just dash through them, basically. That's what you're gonna do. And the map, you, you, I, I never really noticed it while playing, but just when viewing, it's tilting back and forth ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah like on a cruise. Yes, like on a cruise, yeah. All right, they're off the cruise. And the only thing they've won at the casino was more King Dice bosses. Congratulations. Do we have any donations to announce? We have Moon. two here. We have a $5 donation from Lordly Hour. Thank you very much. And we have a $50 donation from O Moon. And yes. 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 Thank you very much for your donation. O Moon just arrived into our orbit recently. Thank you for joining our original moon. Here you can see they are uh, abusing the fact that um, the cigar appears uh, alternating between characters and one can just stand behind and uh, just uh, straight DPS all the time. And just for clarity's sake, uh, this is uh, co-op any percent run, no DLC involved here, but they did make, they took a little trip just to get some extra coins. You, um, you can absolutely do that. Yeah, it's not banned. You can absolutely go and do whatever <laughs> whatever you need yeah. to raise your chances. I'll just take a quick moment here also to remind everybody at home that you are, we are raising money for the American Heart Association. We are trying to get to $10,000 tonight so we unlock Elden Ring on saxophone. I'd like to see that <laughs> run. I really do. That's crazy. So get your donations in. Every dollar counts, whether it's $1 or $1 million. $1 million. Million yeah, dollars. if you donate a million dollars, though, I might freak out. So, just saying. If it's a million, you have they have to do it blindfolded with their feet. Mm. <laughs> All right, they're almost halfway through the bosses, and the fifth mini boss will be the mm, rabbit with the magic hat. And uh, if you don't have smoke bomb, it's really hard because you have to jump out of the very the difficult pattern, but luckily they all have, they can just roll out of this trap, so. Now, it's gonna be McCann's job here to parry these, I assume, since, yeah, there you go, yeah. see. Yeah, the difference between Chalice and Cuphead or Bagman is uh, you parry, your parry mechanic is different. You have to dash into parryable instead of like jumping and press and jump again, as uh, Cuphead and Bagman do. Right, which isn't really that great on this. So, yeah, you saw there, Mugman was taking the lead. That was cool. So they have to communicate that out. I'm going this way, stand under this, you know? That was cool. Yes, yeah, little stuff like that is the nuances in a co Cuphead co-op run, as opposed to playing single player. Yeah, 
Yeah, this 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 mini boss is rough. Mostly because of the foreground, which can block half of the screen, as you can see. And you actually have to like use your imagination in some cases to, uh, you know, to add the elements on the screen. You know, so otherwise you would. They're just having Mickey instead at the bottom and having Miss Chalice, who's Tane, do the boss. That's interesting. Interesting. I haven't yeah, answered that. That's I pretty did, cool. I didn't even think you can st stand there. I, will I mean, also... despite the fact that they're doing half damage, uh, I think this strat is preferable. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'll just let the, the, uh, the chat know that we are $172 away from $9,000 raised during Games Done Hitless. Get your donations in. Seriously, every dollar counts. And if you can't donate, do us a favor and go spread the word about this awesome show. Sheesh. Okay, three mini bosses left to go. And then we get expert co-op the devil. I think they should do the devil on regular first, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll have to, right? So we'll get to see yeah, it twice. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe they will do the fresh expert glitch for that. I'm not sure. We'll see in a moment. Oh, true. Fresh expert glitch is the intended mechanic or maybe oversight by programmers where you can go to the safe where expert mode is unlocked and uh, it will allow you to set the expert difficulty on all saves. So that, that might be how they're going to do this for this run. There you go. Pirouette is done. Pretty simple boss if you have smoke bomb or you can dash uh, with Miss Chalice and Invincible dash to her. And we got Mangosteen. Is that, how, is that what it is, right? Mangosteen? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called... What, what does it mean, even? I, well, he's not a mango, that's for sure. That's yeah, I know. <laughs> he's the billiard ball, right? Yeah. Whoever made this game's never played pool in their life. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this guy's a mango. He should be called 8-Ball Steve. Hire me. There you go. Well the, last, the last mini boss is the memory game where you have to uh, uh, parry the, the pairing tiles uh, one after another to actually progress through the boss. And that's going to be interesting. Probably they will they remember uh, the different tiles. Like, uh, they kind of see which ones are there. Okay, oh, so I think they mix and match here. I think they made a screenshot. You actually can do that, yeah. You can just pause and uh, remember which uh, cards are where and just bury them in order. That's actually a pretty nice strat. I haven't thought about that. There you go. Yeah, that makes sense. My uh, my usual strat was to just forget and then lose the run. Okay, I might just steal that strat. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Now it's been so long since I've like dealt with this mini boss. If I if you got the if you got the um the match wrong, you would speed up the monkey. Is that how it works? Uh, we get faster. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Anything can happen on this boss. Yeah, but I'm oh. pretty sure if you got the match oh, yeah, wrong, yeah, yeah, you would yeah. speed if up. It, yes, yes, it will speed up. Crane. But after three times, it will go back to the normal speed. Wow, we are 170 bucks away from 9K. I want to see saxophone Elden Ring. We are getting there. We are getting there. I'm going to call my mom. How much money you got in that wallet? You got any coins in your couch? Nice. Let's go. That was okay. cool. Yeah, that's amazing. They're, and they're both hitless through the through this whole fight. And uh, only Cars March left. You see Mugman here is giving King Dice a haircut. Oh, this is cool. Uh, just, just the look of this. It's almost like a, <laughs> a fireworks show. 
Yeah, w one person can hide uh, behind uh, the hand of King Dice and the other one just doing the thing. There you go, you can actually jump over the hand and stand on the head, behind the head. This is cool, yeah, watching this co-op is almost like, uh, it's like a dance. That was cool to say. Does it uh, make you want to come back to running Cuphead, maybe? It actually makes me... That actually brings me to my next point. I'll double the incentive to anyone who uninstalls Cuphead. <laughs> don't do it, kids. <laughs> it's a fun game, but I don't miss it. It's brutal. Oh. All right, here we go. The devil. Okay, they, they're doing the devil on regular first, and after that, they're going to do it on expert difficulty. Yeah, that King Dice Strat was cool. It was like choreographed. I'll just take okay, a quick mo Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. Go. Hmm? No, no, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just take a quick moment to remind everybody that we are raising money for the American Heart Association. They are working towards health equalities by providing education to help uh, to healthcare professionals and to the public. They apply uh, a new knowledge to treat heart disease and stroke. They teach individuals uh, individual pre uh, pre prevention, and they focus on uh, health impact uh, through the conditions in which people live, work pray and play. They are fighting against symptoms, laws and customs for that perpetuate the uh, in, uh, inequalities as well. So get your donations in right now. And uh, let's hit 9K. Yeah, remember, wherever the subscription button normally is, now there is a donate to charity button. That's how you can donate or otherwise exclamation mark donate in chat. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. So close to 9K. And close to saxophone Elven Ring. All right, we are on phase two here of the devil. Well, I guess okay. you can call it phase. Yeah, yeah so here's right. the, tr the trick. Both uh, eyes on devil have hitbox, and if you just hit EX, converge EX for them, you deal double damage. And are we there? Let's go. Wow, that damage is nuts. All right, now do it on expert. Amazing job. <laughs> Amazing job. They just beat the game with five hits in co -op. And uh, yeah. actually, I just want to say that uh, there are just other two people who have completed Cuphead co-op hitless, Sublime and Grandius, uh, which are basically Cuphead gods. And uh, these guys, Mick and Antaine, they have 14 world's first uh, co-op runs, and nobody else, <laughs> nobody else have done it, which is you know crazy. Really impressive stuff. What was crazy about that run is I think Inkwell Isle 3, the hardest, was their best aisle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was, that was really impressive. And right. now they're going to do Devil on Expert. Let's see it, these guys. And they're going to just uh, use Speed Shooter only without anything, without any charms and stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not sure taney has been hit at all. If, if, if yeah. so, one hit, but I don't... I don't think, I think Tanny's hitless. No, no, Tanny's hitless, yeah. The pea shooter only. Now, don't get it twisted. Pea shooter is a good weapon. Muckworm, you know, you tell him you love this thing. Well, it's a default weapon and it does like normal damage, but I like it because it has the biggest distance and uh, it's EX very like flexible. So it's not yeah. that bad. Yeah, the base shot and the EX both full range of the map, which is, like you said, is pretty cool. Yeah, people, obviously, I get why people think that. Oh, it's the first weapon you get. This thing stinks. Oh, I noticed they did, um... I don't see a lot of people do that. They, like, under-dashed the flames there. Yeah, you can actually do that. When you dash, right. the, your hitbox is on your foot, so you can become really small when you're doing that. And they utilize on that. Yeah, even though the model, it'll look like you just dash through a projectile. It's not a bug that is a function. And they made it through the first phase beautifully without getting hits. And uh, if there are donations, uh, you can read them. Yeah, we have $2 from Ori TV. Thank you very much. $5 from Ryan underscore from Canada. And $50 from Aries. Thank you so much for your donation to the American Art Association. Wow, 
Oh, I'm actually amazed at their technique. This, this is actually very hard to manage, especially knowing that you have to count all the projectiles and keep track of the poker chips because they're going either from the right to the left or from the left to the right, and you have to like uh, remember all that at all times. And but, great like precision shooting on the the little bats up top. That's I mean. That yeah. sometimes is a hit right there, missing those. This is where the shooter is, is bad at, at uh, <laughs> getting rid of yeah. these little brats. So yeah, they, they're they masterfully doing, doing that. I almost uh, bestowed an announcer's curse on them. Thank you. For and <laughs> are, we there? Bad. are we there? Yes, awesome. they did that. GG. What a that beautiful game. What a beautiful game. Hitless co-op devil with just the pea shooter on expert awesome stuff absolutely crazy we are literally 115 dollars away from 9,000. can we get there nice job guys that was amazing yo that was great to watch congratulations thank you thank you thank you did, did you have fun I think my favorite part was uh, your guy's strat of throwing um, Mugman down on the bottom of the King Dice. Ah, uh, yeah, that with was the horse. That was, that was cool. Yes, because it was really complicated with the, all the presents and everything. So we tried to go behind the horse, and in the moment that he was doing the attack, he was hitting the one that was behind him. So we came up with this strat of going below. And I had to stay there, uh, checking that he doesn't throw. He wasn't throwing anything on me. In the case that he was throw, gonna throw something on me, I was gonna use the special bomb to go out uh, safe. Yeah, that was cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what was the worst? Yeah, thank you so what, much. Secret phase wise, which one threw you for a loop? Uh, the phase is a uh, secret phase, especially of the Sally stage play. I would say is the hardest. Um, we had some problems in, in, in the genie because uh, I got all the cards and I was a bit like, what do I do now? Do I throw the bomb? I, what do I do? Then I got hit because of that, because I was just thinking, what do I do here? And we didn't get hit in the most complicated phase. That is the last one, no? actually the, the secret phase. But yeah, it was, it was nice. Uh, I, had, I had a lot of fun, even in, with the inconvenience of the internet issues. Uh, sorry for that. And I think, Tenny, did you have fun too? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I would like to say thanks for for the for inviting us, for counting on us, also to Terconics and Mugwon for um, commenting and uh, people for watching and supporting because they did support a lot. We get all the incentives. Yeah, thank you all for for making this. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, this was an absolutely incredible run, and uh, you both did absolutely amazing. Um, and we just hit nine thousand dollars for the Ooh, American wow. Heart Association. Yo, that, let's go with that one hundred and fifteen dollar donation from Shaz Boz. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So with that, um, do we have any shout outs from the commentators? Dark, you go uh, first. What to who? Well, I want to shout out you two for an amazing run. First of all, that was really cool to watch. Uh, games done quick, doing games done hitless this time. Thanks for like shining a spotlight on the uh, hitless community. I think that's really cool. And the American Heart Association, a great cause. I mean, like to take gaming and be able to do it for an awesome cause and help other people is that's. That's everything. That's the best. So shout out to everybody that donated. Um, and personally, just everybody from my community on my Twitch that came over and donated money. I appreciate that. And I know, uh, you know, everybody involved does as well. And, you know, shout out to everybody behind the curtain that's working on this. This is like the production's just nuts. So GG's to you guys. Thank you. Yeah, I want to shout out uh, Team Hitless and GDQ. I hope to see more events like this in the future. I think that's a great idea you came up with, and I'm happy to see us collaborating. 
Uh, also, Fala, Jiggy, guys, thank you for having us here and uh, whoever organized this event. And uh, yeah, uh, the Mika and Antene, that was nice commenting here. And uh, thank you for all the donations and thanks uh, to my mom and dad. That's what I said. Mr. Mrs. Yeah, that's Worm. amazing. Thank you so much, uh, Mika and Antene, for the amazing run. Thank you for the commentators. This has been this has been wonderful. I have never played Cuphead before, and I had the blast watching you guys play. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, I also because there were some shout outs to Team Hitless, I, I wanted to say that if you want to join the Discord, uh, that's my shout out as well. Please join us. Uh, we're a wonderful community. If you want to start challenge running, if you want to ask questions, if you want to talk to people that play the same game that you play, uh, you can join us. Um, and this is my last shift as well, so I wanted to say thank you everybody for, you know, for the overall amazing atmosphere, the amazing runs, the amazing commentating, the amazing everything, everything is amazing. I'm, I'm emotional right now. Uh, thank you for reaching this 9k goal. We are really, really close as well to hit the incentive run for the Elden Ring on a saxophone controller, which is also amazing. <laughs> Um, and we are gonna be back uh, after with Metroid Red as well. So there are more runs coming today and there are more runs coming tomorrow. Uh, thank you so, so much for everything. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Fala. And thank you, everybody, that for this, this incredible run. All right, don't go anywhere and keep those donations coming in. Games Done Hitless will be right back with Metroid Dread. 